so sure. They must think we're really stupid. They're gonna kill Spider-Man with plutonium. He's got radioactive blood. Yeah? Let me see that. Hey, man, what are you doing that for? Shut up. Look at me, just walked in. Bloody Mary. No hard liquor served past 8 o'clock. Do you want a virgin? Maybe, but uh, I'll have a couple of drinks first. Mm. Hey, baby. I got something to show you. Sorry, left my magnifying glass at home. Pretty good. Billy, that is no way to talk to a lady. So, how about a blowjob? <laughs> I bet you think that was pretty funny, don't you? I enjoyed it. Yeah? Well, you're gonna enjoy this even more. No, 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 no. I cut you, man. Oh, she's standing. Thanks, Yaz. Yeah. Well, this ain't fake, oh. baby, so stay still. Because I'm just... I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> um, my name's Elvira, but you can call me tonight. I'm Bob. Bob Redding. Pleased to meet you. Look at this mess. Who the heck is going to pay for it? It's all right, Patty. I'll take care of the damages. Seems to me it's all this cheap little tart's fault. Cheap? Who are you calling cheap? What's that perfume you're wearing? Catch of the day? Look, honey, I don't know which hole you crawled out of, but I suggest you crawl right back in if you know what's good for you. Yeah, yeah. You better watch out. You can put some of these eyes out with them things. <clears throat> We better go. It looks like you've got some competition, Patty. Charlie, trash does not compete with class. Right down the street. <laughs> at the cozy cot. Oh. So what brought you to Falwell? Uh, my car. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, really, I'm here for the reading of my great aunt Morgana's will. Morgana Talbot? She's your aunt? Yeah, it came as a surprise to me, too. <laughs> I never really knew her, but I sure admired her spunk. She never caved in the way everybody else in this town has. Well, I don't want to bore you with local politics. Go ahead. Bore me. Okay. We've got this town council that lives in mortal fear that somewhere, somehow, somebody in Falwell is having a good time. Oh, a bunch of real preservatives, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I run the movie house. Oh, and... really? I'm in movies, too. Have you ever shown, uh, um, I Married Satan? No. How about the sequel, I Married Satan, too? No. I, uh, I can only play G-rated movies. Oh, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with G-rated movies, as, as long as there's lots of sex and violence. Um, hey, listen, Bob, I'm only gonna be in town for a couple of days, and I can't think of anyone who I'd rather squeeze into my agenda. Gee, that'd be swell. Your sister was like a mother to me. She was a mother to me, too, dear. Well, now that we've dispensed with the obligatory display of bereavement, 
You may begin the proceedings, Mr. Bigelow. Uh, it was Mrs. Talbot's wish to have all of her relatives present for the reading of the will. All of her relatives are present. Me, myself, and I. Uh, 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 well, uh, apparently Mrs. Talbot has a grandniece, Elvira, who was also one of the beneficiaries. But that's impossible. Uh, uh, well, who is this grandniece? Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late, but then so's my aunt. <laughs> hey, what you got? Up? Nothing serious, I hope. Say, nice jacket. Who shot the couch? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, is there a bathroom around here? I'm telling you, that toilet over the cozy cot looks like somebody's science project. Who is this woman? This must be Mrs. Talbot's grandniece, uh, Elvira. Uh, this is your great aunt's brother, Vincent Talbot. She was my aunt. And you're her brother. Then you must be my Uncle Vinny. Get this woman oh. off of me. Oh, and you must be Empty Em and Uncle Remus. Oh, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Hurry up, Bigelow. Let's get on with it. Yeah, really. Let's get going before somebody else dies. This is the certified and only last will and testament of the deceased Morgana Talbot. To my housekeeper, Mrs. Morrissey, for years of loyalty and devotion, I leave my silver tea service and a cash allotment of $5,000. Oh, no. Hey, babe, what you whining about? You made out like a bandit. To M Mr. Morrissey, my driver, I leave my automobile and an allotment of $5,000. Whoa, dude, ten grand just for the help? <laughs> that old gal must have really been loaded. <laughs> oh, I mean, dear sweet Aunt Morgana certainly was generous. <laughs> well, what's it say about me? What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? To my grandniece, Elvira. Come on, lay it on me, Aunt Morgana. Big bucks, big bucks. Uh, 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 uh. I bequeath my house, my beloved poodle, Algonquin, and my precious book of recipes. That's it? A house, a dog, and a book? Please, if you will allow me to finish. And finally, to my dear brother Vincent, I leave the rest of my estate and holdings, of which there is none. Where's the cash? Where's the furniture? Where's Bob Yobanks? He wasn't mentioned. <laughs>